Welcome to Choji Adventures. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted this butterfly on this rock. This is a red butterfly. I just wanted to make it red because it's not very common to see red butterflies. I hope you like this video. I started by giving a coat of green paint. I always try to use basic colors. After I applied the red paint, it was still wet. I applied white and yellow. I'm gonna leave the description below of the colors that I use. I treated this as a primer because I used three different colors and and once I let the paint dry, I started to make a drawing of the butterfly with that lead pencil. I mixed some of the green and white paint so I can start drawing some brushes or leaves. Then I grabbed some white paint and I started to paint flowers. The flowers are not realistic. This is just a suggestion of flowers. If you look at a lot of painters that use this technique, it's not something very detailed, but once it's done, you can actually see the whole picture. Then I added some red with white and I kept on mixing the colors to see what color I liked. Next step is to paint the butterfly. I just use regular red acrylic paint. I apply two coats of this paint. You will see in the, in the video ahead how I started to do the other coat. And the cool thing about butterflies is that even though they are very, very beautiful, Sometimes they go to a stage that they uh, call caterpillar or larva and a lot of people don't like worms because how they look or or for whatever the reason but the life cycle of the butterfly is constitute of four stages. The first stage is the egg which you can find in a lot of plants. If you look carefully and try to find eggs you get a magnified glass you can actually see the caterpillar growing in size, some of the eggs are round, some ovals, it varies on shape and sizes. The next stage is the caterpillar or the larva, which starts eating the leaves and it peels the skins many times. After that, it takes about two weeks for the caterpillar to transform into chrysalis or the pupa stage. And then it comes the adult butterfly stage, which is just the butterfly. And then the cycle repeats by the butterfly laying eggs, just like the beginning. And this transformation is called metaphormesis. And the cool thing about butterflies is that they are common pollinators. They go from flower to flower to pick up nectar from the antennas, they call proboscis. Use, they use it as a straws. They have six legs, and if you thought that the butterflies only have two wings, they actually have four wings. And they use the antennas and the front legs to smell around them. And as you can tell, it's very cool to see all the stages of the butterflies. If you look at the uh, time lapse on YouTube videos, you can actually see a few time lapse of the stages of the butterflies. Going back on the butterfly, on the center of the, of the wings, I tried to put some more darker red. I just mixed a little bit of black paint with the red to have some contrast with the wings. And on the background, I used some green paint just as a suggestion of maybe some sticks or some branches from the flowers, uh, kind of a, like a shadow look. And then I added some red on the flowers once the paint has dry. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you liked the content of this channel, consider subscribing to this channel. If you have any questions, suggestions for this channel, let me know. I want to ask you, what do you think about the videos that I do? If you think they are too slow or too fast, or if you want more detailed explanations on the paintings, uh, I want to get your feedback. I really appreciate it. Even if you're not subscribed to my channel, I want to know your inputs, and I really appreciate that information. And also, if you have any suggestions, somebody suggests this video, actually, they wanted me to show how to paint a butterfly, so I went ahead and did the video. Right here, I'm applying the second coat of the red because I wanted to make it really vibrant. On the sides of the uh, wings, I added the black paint to define more the butterfly. You can make your own design as you want. Remember that my goal is to inspire you to start painting rocks. It's a relaxing thing to do. And I apologize for the focus of this video. I actually run out of battery and I checked the camera again. I didn't realize that was out of focus, but I will try to make it really fast forward this part. I just wanted to show you uh, some of the black areas, how I painted the lines and some dots. Uh, again, you don't have to do it the same way. You can add any other colors. And towards the end on the black dots, I added some white paint. To make it more colorful and i hope you like this video and give me a thumbs up and this is the rock with the coat of resin it looks so nice so shiny it's just so beautiful and i liked how the rock came out i'll see you on the next video